Welcome back to WTOL 11 Your Day and Happy Holidays. Well, at least they should be, right? This time of year is supposed to be full of joy, but sometimes it's full of breakup. Psychologist Carmen Hara, his relationship expert, is with us this morning to kind of talk about how and why relationships fall apart during the holidays. So good morning, Carmen. Carmen, good morning. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Awesome. Okay. So can you tell us a little bit about why relationships tend to fall apart before the holidays? Holidays disrupt our daily routine, inducing feelings of anxiety and bringing a lot of tension and pressure between couples. So we see a lot of uh, couples arguing during holiday season because there's pressure to feel happy. And you might not feeling so happy during holiday season because you have your own reasons. So consequently, they argue and relationship do fall apart a lot during holiday season. The advice is try to spend more quality time, try to honor each other, try to think about togetherness, family, and uh, especially give a meaningful gift. It doesn't have to be the most expensive. Think beyond the season into the future. And you've helped so many people kind of find that love and happiness in middle ground. You're saying quality time's important. You're saying think more about the thought, right, than maybe the material right. benefit of the money involved. If you are breaking up before the holidays, maybe you have to break up with someone or they break up with you, you decide, hey, this isn't going anywhere. How do you handle that? How do you not feel rejected or how do you kind of forge a way forward after being through going through a breakup? Well, you know, uh, if you go to a breakup, you have to do your inner work. You have to ask yourself why, because a relationship is a reflection of what happens within yourself. If within yourself you're not happy, if you still harbor negative feeling towards your ex or towards something that has been done to you and you don't, you're not done with that breakup, then of course, you know, you will continue to feel sad and you're not gonna be able to date somebody else and you'll go to a difficult period. So holidays are actually very good for you to introspect, to reflect, to heal, to work within yourself and ask yourself, what's my definition of commitment? Will I ever find somebody else whose definition of commitment matches mine? And speaking of commitment, is it a good idea to maybe try to start something new during the holidays? With all the craziness going on, is it maybe wise to start reaching out to new people? I don't think holidays is the best time of the year to start dating because holidays are so emotional. Though it's a memorable time of the year, it's not the time to start something new. It's the time to, as I said, to introspect and find out if you are in good standing. It's the time to heal. So during holidays, try to ask yourself, who do I wanna be with? What is my match? What is my archetype? What should be my partner archetype? So do your inner work to evolve so that you don't create a similar situation that you've already going through and didn't work out for you. Carmen, what's uh, you mentioned an archetype. What is that a little bit for people who are unfamiliar? Well, I just wrote a book about archetype, and archetype is a concept that has been introduced in psychology by Carl Jung, and it comes from the idea that we all are having original behavior towards each other. And if we understand our characteristic, our traits and our weaknesses, uh, our capacity to love that stems from our archetype, we will know who to be with and who not to be with. So the book in itself is like some kind of a predictability chart showing you who's your ideal match and who are you really in the world of romance and in, in your love life. Getting to know yourself is so important to future success in that arena. If someone's interested in your book, where can they pick it up? Any bookstores, of course, Amazon, everybody can find everything at Amazon, including my book. But in every bookstore, the book is available. Awesome. Carmen Harder, thank you so much for joining us this morning, explaining some ways to find happiness this holiday season and just some wisdom for our relationships.